good, you're here. I'm glad you could make it to RPM today. I'm Tiffany, and I'm here to help you enjoy your racing experience. I'll be guiding you through the racing process, how to prepare, how to handle your cart, and hopefully, how to win a few races. In a few minutes, you'll be entering our racetrack area, where our pit crew will direct you to your racing cart. These carts are not toys. They're real racing carts. They're very powerful. They have racing slicks, responsive brakes, and they go very fast. So it's important that you follow the rules, pay attention, and most importantly, have a fantastic time racing. It looks like everyone here has their racing suit on. Good. We want to make sure that there's no excess clothing hanging out. And if you have long hair, tuck it into the back of your suit. You're also required to wear closed-toed shoes. Sorry, no flip-flops on race days. On your way out of the briefing room, you'll enter the pit area. On either side, you'll find helmets in a variety of sizes. You'll need to put on your head sock, and then grab the helmet by the two chin straps, and pull the helmet on over your head. The helmet should fit snugly and comfortably. Then fasten the chin strap. Soon, one of our pit crew will call your name, provide you with a neck collar, and then tell you which cart you're racing in. Your neck collar simply fits around your neck under your helmet. Then fasten the Velcro strap in the front. If you have any questions or need assistance with any of your equipment, please ask any of our crew members. Be careful when climbing into your cart. You'll want to place one hand on the roll bar, one foot on each side of the seat, and then slide into the cart. Once seated, please fasten your seat belt by pulling the straps from both sides up over your shoulders and inserting the lock pin into the buckle. Your racing cart has two pedals. The pedal on the right is the gas pedal. The pedal on the left is the brake. If you can't reach the pedals, raise your hand and a member of the pit crew will assist you. Now that you're all strapped in, you're ready to race. The track marshal will direct you and the other racers out of the pit area and onto the track. Remember that your cart is powerful and can potentially be dangerous. Most importantly, remember that cart racing is real racing and a non-contact sport. Contact into barriers and other drivers is strip lock prohibited and will result in a penalty or loss of your racing privileges. During the race, the track marshals will use a series of flags to communicate with you and the other racers. Be sure to pay attention because these flags will help keep your race safe and enjoyable for everyone. You will enter the track under a yellow flag. This flag represents caution and you should drive your cart at a walking pace and do not pass. You'll also see flashing yellow lights to indicate the entire track is under a caution state. Under no circumstances should you pass under a yellow flag or you will receive an automatic penalty. If you spin out during a race or have to stop for any reason, the yellow flag will be waved and a track marshal will come to assist you. Do not, under any circumstances, get out of your race cart unless a track marshal has instructed you to do so. The track marshals will then wave the green flag, signaling the start of your race. You can drive as fast as you'd like, as long as you can maintain control of your cart. This flag will also be waved after spin-outs and other incidents to signify it's safe to resume the race at full speed. The black flag is our penalty flag and is used to notify drivers of incorrect or unsafe driving. If the black flag is pointed in your direction, it's a warning that you've done something against track rules, such as minor contact with barriers or other carts, or spinning out, and you need to adjust your driving. If the black flag is waved in your direction due to major contact or out of control driving, you must exit the track and enter the pit area immediately where you and the track marshal will have a one-way conversation about how to fix what's wrong. Failure to pull into the pit area or failure to comply with the track marshal's instructions may result in suspension of your race with no refund. The blue flag is a courtesy flag and is used to tell a driver that there are faster racers behind them and they should allow those racers to pass. If you are shown a blue flag, move to the outside of the track and let those behind you pass on the inside. Be aware, there may be more than one racer passing you, so make sure it's clear before moving back into the racing line. 
In certain race events, you may see the white flag near the end of the race to signify that there's only one lap remaining in that race. The checkered flag is one of the most famous signals in racing and one we all like to see. It signifies the end of the race. When the checkered flag is waved, it is waved with a yellow flag, meaning your race is over and it's time to make your way back to the pit area. Please do so in a slow and orderly fashion. There are a few rules to racing at RPM that we need you to keep in mind. If two carts are coming into a corner at the same time, each racer must maintain their position through the corner to avoid contact. Racers must watch for and acknowledge all flags and track marshal's instructions during the race by raising your hand in the air. Also, if at any time during a race you have to slow down or stop, again, raise your hand to warn other drivers behind you. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's talk about racing. I can show you a few things that will improve your driving and improve your lap times. One of the best ways to improve your lap times is to slow down as you approach a corner and accelerate through the corner. You should also try to enter the corner on the outside and cut to the inside, called the apex, to help you accelerate. Make sure you don't press the brake pedal and the gas pedal at the same time. This is both bad for the cart and will slow you down. By the way, when you're done and you've turned in your racing suit, don't forget to pick up your track smack where it has your time and speed on every lap. You can also hang with some friends, talk about your races, and watch racing action from our Skybox while you enjoy some great food in the Race Place Cafe. Well, you're ready to race. I've taught you everything I know. Have fun, be safe, and remember, we provide the ride, you supply the drive. Your race awaits.